Hello, so my name is Gilles Larocque. I'm in charge of the strategic marketing activity for the aerospace business unit at Victrex. And I'm here just to talk about a pretty unique grade uh, made by the Victrex called LMPAK, uh, low melt PAK, which has a lower melting point than a regular peak. And actually, this feature really opened up the processing windows and enabling our customer to make parts uh, like in a faster way, uh, maybe in a better way, with better quality, and at the end, really to reduce the cost of the part. So that really opened up new opportunities, new application, new parts, and we see more and more uh, a strong adoption and a, a, a pr very positive momentum ar around this grade. You can walk the show and see parts uh, for the fuselage section, on, on the wing, interior. So we can definitely see the increase of adoption of uh, this grade and enabling really uh, a new solution for, for our customer. Hi, my name is Peter Levesque. I'm from the Victrex facility in Bristol, Rhode Island. At that facility, we do uh, thermoplastic composite hybrid overmolding. Um, that's uh, a, a nice process enabled by Victrex's low melt peak polymer. Uh, it's got a lower melting temperature than um, the regular peak, so we can uh, hybrid overmold uh, and really functionalize composite parts. So at our facility, we do uh, injection molding, uh, tape layup, um, composite uh, layup and consolidation, uh, forming, and you know all of the CNC processes and, and NDT that is uh, sort of part and parcel to those uh, making those kinds of parts. I'm Jonathan Sirks. I'm the head of business development for Victrex's transportation business unit. I spend most of my day talking about low melt peak and the areas of application for that particular material. In aerospace, we see a need for light weighting and metal replacement. So using the LM peak polymer as the, the foundation, we have a variety of formats where we have short or continuous fiber reinforcements that are then used to produce complex geometries for metal replacement in aerospace uh, and in and around battery applications in advanced air mobility. In e-mobility, there is a lot of interest in polyaero ether ketones, um, top end of the polymer pyramid, where you have a unique combination of temperature, chemical resistance, uh, the materials are inherently tough and insulative. So in an e-motor where you can imagine in higher voltage applications you have a great deal of thermocycling, that's where we see a lot of interest in, in our material solutions right now, whether it be stator sleeves or copper wire that's been insulated with peak polymer um, the slot liners in those systems as well, a uh, tremendous amount of interest for those high temperature uh, materials. So in the future, we, we see uh, a greater adoption of the low melt peak and peak polymers in aerospace applications, uh, in, in e-mobility as well. But um, looking forward, we see hydrogen as an exciting space for us where you have UD tape, thin ply, uh, AFP wound hydrogen takes. That's a really uh, exciting application space for us.